the FT-17 light tank. The small Renault FT-17 was one of the most successful tanks of World War I. Its origins come from the proposals put forward by General Estienne in 1915, who saw the need for a light armored vehicle that could support infantry operations directly. In mid-1916, Renault became involved with an order for over 1,000 examples in prospect. The company started to produce a design. By the end of 1916, the design was ready, emerging as a two-man tank armed with a machine gun. At the time, it did not meet approval because it was considered too cramped and lightly armed. Nevertheless, an order was pushed through, and an order for 2,500 were placed, and the armament had been upgraded to a 37mm gun. The FT-17 can be considered as the first classic tank design. It had its armaments in a small turret which could turn 360 degrees and a thin hull with tracks on each side. The tank featured an engine at the rear and a large forward idler wheel which was good for climbing obstacles and a tail added at the back to help with crossing trenches. Renault were unable to produce the numbers required so production batches were subcontracted to other concerns. The Americans also became involved but insisted that their versions of the FT-17 be built to American standards. Therefore, none of their tanks arrived in France before the armistice. In France, the original cast-armored turret was often replaced by an octagonal design using flat armor plates. The 37mm gun was the norm, although a self-propelled gun version mounting a 75mm gun was produced, and there was also a radio version called the Renault TSF. The armor thickness was 16 mm, or 0.63 inches. The first FT-17s were delivered to the French Army in March 1917, but it was not until May 1918 that it saw action. By then, French tactics were to use the tanks en masse. By July, 480 FT-17s were concentrated for a counterattack near Soissons with success. Maintenance was a constant worry because the FT-17 was designed with little care for repairs. So as a result, hundreds of the tanks could be out of action at any one time. As the war ended, there were 1,991 FT-17s fit for combat. After 1918, the tank remained in service on a large scale, and some were converted for new roles, such as bridging and self-propelled artillery. In 1939, the tank was still in use, and the Germans took over many of them after the French collapse in 1940. Watch our other videos to learn more. Get your copy of Simple History World War I, available on Amazon now.